Hey everybody, good day to you and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Radicus Prime, aka the Swedish meatball eating champion of the Southwest. We're here to check out a game that's in early access called Mists of Noia. It brands itself as a 2D co-op survival RPG, so if that's something that interests you, then meet me on the other side and we'll take a look and see if it's worth our time. Alright guys, see you there. Mists of Noia, a 2D co-op survival RPG, and it brands itself as a sort of a pixel art type thing. When I saw it, I appreciated the way the artwork looked. It was kind of a very curious. It was a curiosity, and then I wanted to check out. You're supposed to be leveling up your skills during the day to fight hordes of horn-firing creatures at night, and it's an early access. So. We're going to see what what I had seen so far as far as trailers and still shots looked very promising. So we're going to take a look and see if it's worth all of our time and not just a few minutes. All right, so it does have controller and keyboard support. So let's go ahead and take a look at the options. I'm going to use the mouse here. Controls, controller. There we go. Go back. There we go. Okay, now. We're going to take a look at everything here. Configuration. And it's early access game, so things may not be working just right. The controller's not working for that, so we're going to use the mouse. Full screen borderless, HD, V-Sync is always off, vibration off, sound effects. Again, I'm a sucker for separating the audio. The controls here supports mouse and keyboard and controller. And you can re-key bind a lot of things. And there's a chat function, which makes sense because it's co-op. There's no back button, so let's hit escape. And I think that's it. We're not going to do multiplayer because I don't have any friends. And we're going to go here. So I guess you create a world and you go into it sort of like a random generated thing. So let's see what happens here. Create a world. And there's no way to... I guess it's going to be controller and mouse and keyboard, not just controller. And we will call this Pain World. Yeah, pain world. That'll be fine. Go hit create. We'll see what happens. Again, I've read nothing about this game. I just know that it's an early access, and the publisher is Pyrex uh, or Pixarella. It's P Y X E or something like that. Pixarella, and that's it. And it's on Mac, uh, Microsoft and Steam. All right, so let's see what we got here. We have to pick a character, and we're gonna go with Rice. Nice, okay. There's good audio. Good positional audio, so I guess it's gonna let you know where things are. Mm -hmm. Yep, just tweaking my sound buds a little bit there. All right, so good positional audio. This also kind of reminds me of Kingdom, that Kingdom game where Mobs, you have to go left and right and recruit mobs to do things. That kind of seems a lot. Oh, oh, he has a sword. So when you cannot. Okay, cool. All right, so let's see here. All right, so right trigger does a healing thing. Right button does a big swap, swap, swapity swap. And that's it. So we're going up here. Spells. I guess this is your castle that you're going to upgrade and take care of. It does, it does uh, look a lot of like the Two Kingdom games. All right, so let's see. All right, will it take fall damage if I jump from here? No, not. All right, so... All right, so there's different things you could do. You could find resources. So you're going to have to mine resources to level up your... Oh, it's got a dodge thing. Level up your skills. All right, so let's go... First move that curse out. Let's go kill something. There we go. It's a little bit of lag when you... Ooh, but I like that double swipe. Okay, keep pushing them back. There we go. Get back. You don't belong here. This is my kingdom. No orcs in my kingdom. I don't know what you guys... We could have tried a more peaceful resolution, but... Oh, what is this? Can I, can I break him out of there? What is this? That give me any tool tips. All right, so we'll come back to you. I promise we'll save you. Oh, oh, nope, nope. Stay back. You look angry, and I don't like it. So I don't have any stamina, so I can effectively sit here and spam this attack which I think in this case I need to do oh wait maybe that's gonna break this will that break that no it won't all right oh, oh ouch ouch I was set up I 
got food. Eat the food. I wonder what I have to break that. So this game doesn't, it just throws you right into it. It doesn't really give you any kind of, hey, this is going to be happening. There's a day counter at the top there. You have X, Y coordinates, I believe. I don't know what those are. But again, this game is early access. So it's probably not worth the price to pick it up just yet. But that's what I'm here for. I'm here to show you how cool these games look. What is, there's another one. I can't even see what these things are. Oh, wait, 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 what is this? What is this? I have to look away. All right, not let me do anything. Okay, nope, all right, so let's go ahead and attack. Come back, tack, tack, tack. Tack, 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 there we go. And I got copper and some clothes, or cloth rather. All right, so there's no mini map either to tell you exactly where your where your where your main base is. I know I have to like defend myself. It's already nine o'clock in the morning, and I've killed more orcs than most people do the whole day. I don't like how he always ends up turning around though. So when I jump, when I jump my character, you see how I all I did was pick a direction and jump, and he turned around. He's backwards automatically, and it's not my controller. So that's that's a bug, and it only happens on ledges. Hold on, let me see here. Oh, he's not doing it now, but he did it enough to where I noticed it. So that's definitely a bug. But again, this game is not even like version one yet. It's it's early, 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 early access. Go down here. Let's just take a. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to get back up there. I mean, the graphic the graphic presentation is nice. Okay, so he's got a fairly good jump. He's got he's got basketball skills in armor, so he might actually be able to get back up here. Let's go back because whoa whoa oh he can fly. So he's got like a flying double jump. No one told me this. Nice. So he's angelic. Okay, so I've gone too far and I really don't know. Oh whoa 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 whoa. All right, let's deal with you. got you there so let's see what can we okay, and again we can't we can't move to select some okay now that we're here so we couldn't go there I had to click in the inventory screen the mouse just to be able to select these let's go ahead and eat some food there you go and it's slowly going up healing over time I wouldn't do that I would probably have them heal like instantly there's no reason to it's a survival game, I guess. He has a full belly, so I guess he heals when he has a full belly. So it, it literally has survival game mechanics, which it said that in the description. So, All right, let's go back to my village. It's 11 o'clock. I found crates of human beings that I think are being shipped off somewhere. Orcs are running around killing things. And I'm only going to be full for six more minutes. This guy's got like a high metabolism. Can't, can't, kill, those, can't kill those flies. Let's get the mouse out of the way. So this is weird. The mouse needs to go away. And all right, so we got crops, but it doesn't tell me what to do with the crops. I, I don't know what that is. I think I just used a heal. Yes, it's some sort of heal. It was left trigger. So is it only healing inside of that aura there? Is that a damage? I guess that's a damage shield. The audio is great. As it stands right now, but I just don't know. Oh, so okay. So when you press Y, you can access these these things here. B makes you do your little rolls. So let's go back to this. Okay, nothing there, and he grabs on automatically to that as I walk by. So the controller is kind of finicky. All right, so we can make weapons. Okay, now I can move, use this to move inside the weapon, but there's nothing I can make. There's nothing I can make there at the furnace. And the B back button to come out of the dialogue when you're interacting with these makes you do the makes you do the dodge, which, you know, could be an issue. Alright, so what are these? Alright, so wait, now, if, now I know I got, there we go. Now I know I got to hit Y, so I guess these are people that work for me now, I hope? So we're going left. Go ahead and get rid of you. 
Yeah, I like the audio. It looks good. Very promising. The mechanics leave a little bit to be desired. The mechanics and the controls, but I'm hoping they, you know, shape those up to be... Oh, wait. You hit Y to... You hit Y. All right, so you got to be in just the right spot. And this is how you gather resources. Stand in the water. So now I have wood. Problem is, you got to be in just the right spot for the dialogue to come up. So for controller-centric game, I hope they manage to figure this out. So, and you know, they have the parallax scrolling. We have what three levels of scrolling? I like that. That's always a good thing for me. You know, it brings back the wonders of yesteryear. Oh, see, it doesn't make. So you got to get a a way where you can where the axe can reach the tree so I guess that'll help you measure out where you need to be so now I know one body width away from me and I got all this wood the dialogue the health bar for the wood stayed up a little bit longer than it should have let's go free up these other guys over here no pressure on don't want him to rush me oh can't touch him touch him at all and he does damage to you so don't move forward there's an orc that snuck up behind me I think that's kind of cheesy but I know he just spawned there was nothing back there all right so we're gonna go here so we got tons of copper and I don't even know what to do with it let's get back to my castle and then I build the door oh I can build a gate no I can't build a gate so, dude, there he is. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Can you go do something? Dude, I'm going to need you to... And he can't actually make me anything. So why are you here? Why are you here if you can't do anything? All right, so I need 50 wood and I only have 8. I need lots of stone. Oh, so he's defending. Nice. Okay. Orc tooth, orc axe. So can I equip that orc axe? See, now it's not, it's not going over... So now I gotta use the mouse to get back over here. The orc axe does give me more, so let's equip that. Actually, I didn't have any weapon at all, apparently. The default weapon doesn't show up in his inventory slot there. Yeah, the default weapon doesn't show up here, because now I have an axe. So apparently this stuff I have, man, I gotta look stashing. Look at that. All right, so the stuff I have, yeah, the controls definitely need some work. I'm hopeful how this game's gonna turn out. Let me take some let me get some food here. There we go. So now I'm, I'm well fed. And I should be healing. There you go. Chat box blink, but I'm not in a group chat. But let's go free some of these guys over here. Because it's all... Whoa, it's already 4.30 at night. It was like 11 o'clock two minutes ago. All right, so I'm not going to worry about wood. I want to go free these axe people. These axe-wielding axe scarecrows. No, no, no. Stay back. Put your paws up, man. Get off of me. I got an axe now. And the, and the, and the, gra see, there's an orc behind me again. Like last time. So that's a cheap mechanic there. They need to fix that. Again, early access. So we try to judge the games on the potential they're going to. Oh. And let's see, my character accidentally turned around just then. There we go. So I have another orc axe. But we try to judge the game on the potential. So don't buy it now. Yeah. Don't buy it. Come on, what are you doing? He turned around again. Don't, yeah, and right what I'm saying, don't buy the game now because of this. I think the game is $14.99 right now, and it's definitely not worth $14.99 right now. Not right this minute. Potential of the game is great, but that's what you get when you buy an early access. You know, you kind of, are the people gone? I haven't ran into one person in a cage, so do you only get one for the first night? Is that what this is? Because that kind of sucks if it does. I think you only get one per day. Alright, so let me get back to my castle. Do I have a teleportation spell? Yeah. Alright, so I, I have to fight these guys. I can't. Yeah. Right, let's, let's do this. So I don't know what that is. There's nothing telling me what that skill is. Oh, it's healing me now. I guess that's a... And I wasn't trying to squat. I'm trying to move. And this is the only game. Oh, now it's nighttime. And I use, like, my most powerful heal spell. 
and these guys right here are ooh, hard to kill. Even with my orc axe, that gave me a plus 10 to damage. Now, are they destroying my base right now? I need to get back to my base. Because you're supposed to gather during the day and then build up at night. You know, a la Terraria. And then you're supposed to be able to gather people to help you. A la Suikoden, which is an old game. If you manage to look that up. Why is there a zombie chick coming up behind me? Alright, I don't care about her. I gotta go. Oh, so there's... there's Okay, so I see why he has wings now. Alright, so let me, let me, okay, so let me run, let me run. So these wings definitely end up helping. I just want to get back to my castle. Let my one axe-wielding guy save me. I didn't free him from that cage for nothing. This is not a, this is not a, a, a freebie world. You got to pay to play. I let you play. You gotta pay me. Ooh, oh, that looked horrible. But I'm gonna grab whatever that is. Leave that money there. I can. I can oh, it's glow dust. Okay, I can come back for that money later. How far did I go? Okay, so now that I'm here, can't do anything there. And let's try to kill this guy. Chat box popped up again. It doesn't see like I don't see my castle being attacked. So 15 minutes in, I've already got a few bugs under my belt. At the first night here, the monsters seem very overpowered for your first night to try to get used to anything, to try to figure out what you're doing. There's no tool tips to let you know what's going on, and it is early access. Plus can't do anything can't oh wait wait I can make I can make a wooden bandana let's do that accessory can't do anything with accessories but not so will that still go while I'm gone yes it's still gonna make it while I'm gone let's come back so how do I claim it click on this okay right click lets me claim it now come here. Can't get to it, so I gotta come here. So how do I equip it? That's the bandana. Equip that. There's my guy. You're my guy, man. You're my guy. You go ahead and keep doing your job. Protect that crystal. So that crystal's probably what's gotta be protected, and that's what he's doing. That little wooden mechanical looking thing. So your crystal's what you have to protect. Can't do any alchemy can't do anything with that so I guess now I'm just gonna go either kill yeah I can't do any cooking so I don't have anything to cook with but I do have a bed oh ooh, more stuff up here oh this is cool also I guess I'll be able to like post people in these places there's my layers oh look a shooting star the stars shoot down not up okay well maybe they do go across but that distinctively looks like it was up. All right, so let me go see what's over here. There's my... God, I keep grabbing that by accident. I don't know. Well, I know why. It needs to be fixed. So there's nothing there I can grab. Nothing I can do there. So I, I basically need resources. I need a lot more resources. But at some point, I need to figure out how to get rocks, which there is in a way. Let's see if I can kill her. Maybe she has rocks in her pocket. Nope, no rocks in her pocket. You see, how did this thing come up behind us? They need to fix that. That's not, that's not, you know, that's not immersive. If you know something's gonna spawn up behind you, even if you just passed it, that's, I feel like that's one of the first things in your game mechanics you should figure out. Nighttime is still going. Alright, so we're going to get back to my base here. Let's kill these guys. There's no reason why that little ghoul should have came at me. I mean, if it's a ghost, how am I hitting it with my sword? There should be like magic spells you can use. Which I don't know what Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, I teleported. Did I teleport or did I die? 
Did I teleport? Or did I die? I don't know. I want to say I teleported. Because again, it doesn't... Yeah, I must have teleported. Because there he is. Chasing after me. Kill him, raggedy man. Fight him, raggedy man. Fight him. Kill him. Is he saying, hoi? Come on, dude. You got to do a better job than that. Just, just like this. We have like an AI I have to... Like an AI that I have to like, program. But that took way too much effort. All right, so I got a night shard, which I don't know what to do with that either. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end it here because as good as this game looks, it's not fun to play right now. This is the first game that I've put on this channel, and I have a whole bunch of I had stockpiled in my Steam library. This is one of the new ones I got because the demo intrigued me. Or not the demo, but the uh, gameplay video reveal intrigued me. Had a few bad reviews, but I never take those you know i take them with a grain of salt i never take them literally because i like different things but this is not fun this is it's not fun at all there's talents it's locked can't get to it crafting most of it's locked can't get to it i don't know i can't get to the actual menu that i want there and yeah let's kill this person the mobs that you kill at night time are boring and overpowered because you have to just swap out of constantly. I don't know why it gave me the option to unlock or free four different little scarecrow defender men if I can only do one at a time. And I and I don't know how to I can't do anything with them. They're just there. So this will be the first video that I am not oh wait, is there six seconds? What is that? Six seconds left at nighttime? What is that in the top left corner with the one second counting down? I think I must have died. I probably died, and then if I died again before the timer ran out, it was going to, like, murder me forever. There you go. I don't have enough to make any gates. So, yeah. That's it with this game. Very buggy, early access. I'll revisit it, but it's my first look, first impression. You see what I see, and I don't think it's really worth it right now. Go away. What are you doing? How does it let you get into the first day when you don't have enough to buy a gate? You can't even make a gate. I can't even find rocks to make a gate. So the first day, I have to sit here and fight mobs that come in because I can't even defend or build up enough to defend against. Two Kingdoms wasn't like this. Terraria wasn't like this. Starbound wasn't like this. You at least had enough to start building a basic defense the first day. The developers, I'm asking you, you got to fix that. And then these mobs spawning at random is unnecessary. All right. Well, um, oh, and there's a save exit. There we go. So good language selection. The sound effects are good. A little repetitive. I, I think you should probably add a little more oomph for bass to the weapon sounds. Different sounds for different strikes so you can instinctively know what type of strike. Maybe different damage values for each one. That would make this game stand out. But right now, there's a lot of work and a lot of polish that needs to be done, even on this version. I know it's early access, but this is the, um, I don't like to say worse, but this is not the best early access title I've ever seen. So, um, guys, you know, if you want, you can check it out or save your money and watch this video and then tell me if you like it. I, unfortunately, am not inclined to play it. I don't like it. Right now, I can tell you, I don't like it. Will I keep it on my wish list? Yes. Will I look for it in the future? Yes. But if I had won the lottery today, and this game was 20 bucks, I would save my 20 bucks. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.